Okay, so this will be the last one for the Learning About Loss series. Yes, you are going to encounter engine users. Alfred said it about the Joker and he was talking to uh, Batman himself and he says, well, some people just want to see the world burn and there's nothing that you can do about it. They just want to do it just because they can. Simple as. So when I'm looking at my analysis, it is a, with a genuine aspect of it's not the technical stuff because the technical stuff I've done with the mantra and I've done with the answer. So then what is that missing link? It's the brain. It's the psychology. Yeah, the different parts of the brain that kick in at the wrong times. And like I've mentioned earlier, if you can do high performance, it is there. You know it's there. So it's just tapping into that at the right moment. The creative mind is not thinking logically enough it panics when there's threats put around the king area and then duff moves are made over protecting or trying to protect the king area when we should be looking at developing our own answer using the mantra simple as for me anyway okay so we blocked off brought up the night captured all pretty simple straightforward stuff nothing major going on here let's just click through all simple defense work ah and this was where we mentioned about this pawn here pushing down onto here yeah because uh, when we did this particular re recording for this particular game um i had the music playing on my uh, <laughs> I had the music playing on my earphones and i didn't know that it was recording the music as well on the stream and so because I, I i don't want to get copyright strikes you know what i mean so i thought oh man so after all i've done like a probably an hour's worth of stream i went on and went oh man i can't keep this so i i ended up deleting it but yeah this particular one here we're seeing this pawn here um it's very quizzical it's just the aspect of this rook coming here once if you get it opened up yeah so if we bring the knight across and then we end up taking this pawn then the rook is opening this file here and then he gets his other rook he's got his queen coming in there gets the knight around the king area so my creative brain was panicking about that but it said no let's just ignore it because we have seen it before so let's just do some moves to negate the aspect of this this move so we continue on and we're still ignoring the fact that they've got their bishop there and it is saying just push on to the bishop here and we were going to do that but we did have the aspect of well you know it's it's all a set play thing so we're just going to leave it alone brings the queen down now so we push up onto their bishop just trying to ignore the aspect of what is going on over on the king's side and then we push on to the bishop at this point here we thought well it's either he's either just going to go with it and it's opening up our king gary and that's where it causes us a bit of an issue and look at this now out and out winning out and out winning yeah but because we were so fearful i don't believe we took um we were so fearful of you know this reprisal yeah all this rook stuff coming down here the queen stuff coming down attacking um we, we didn't entertain any of this so we brought the knight down yeah yeah in my logical brain as we were playing the creative mind was taking over it was basically going we don't want to get involved in any of this you know taking this bishop is not going to be good for us we have seen it before um but it's probably only happened once where I opened up and then they did get an advantage and I think the other times that it did happen when we took we were advantaged because we were a minor piece so the opponent had to jostle very well to try and get our king Gary and we did defend really well but we were also attacking their king Gary at the same time so logic was squished by the creative brain in this particular game all because of the potential fear factor of opening up which was incorrect so the bishop moves 
and now the bishop takes we're thinking well the bishop can take because if the rook takes then the queen takes the bishop look at the advantage that has gone now from this particular game all creative and arty too arty for ourselves logical and now their pawn pushes down but i don't think in real terms we took advantage yes we brought the bishop back all too fearful of the fact of oh well the potentially can still open up the, the, our king area here so look at all that dancing around we've done lost tempo lost the attempt to at actually attacking their king area and putting pressure on any key pieces or anything creative mind just created its own little problem of fear and potential actions that the opponent can make so absolutely um yeah shocking it's shocking to find it out for yourself for myself because looking at it i'm going wow i don't understand why you played like that at all so captured captured so i think from this point on i could stop the game now because in essence it shows the element of what i'm trying to talk about in terms of the creative mind not really developing not really pushing forward and um, not really grasping the aspect of logical answer process the mantra process etc so i'm going to close the game here no in fact tell you what we'll, we'll continue on so the knight comes down we capture the pawn and look at the major advantage that white has got now all my pieces are jammed up on the back look at this look jammed jammed up this got no protection on it rookies like you know we thought we'd get some sort of fancy discovered check thing here but that's not happening we're just looking for this pawn here not a very good position knight is on the rim just sat on the back here so it's not very good at all so creative mind looks and us goes well let's see if we can go for an exchange go for the exchange it's not a happy medium for us at all this is so backward play it's unreal it's absolutely so it's going for like the, that cheap tactic thing of the rook being able to take here so at least we spot that but look at the pieces the pieces are just oh dear me uh, i can't even look so them capture capture and again that's a, a loss in tempo and peace development and now the opponent's just all over us and look at where our pieces are always in the same half of our board didn't make it past our own didn't make it past our own half of the board develop the knight through capturing lost the rook in that process all because the creative mind was fearful of a position that it didn't need to fear we would have been a minor piece up our position would have been still okay and now we've got a rook down and we're just jostling here so yeah so that was the last game in the learning about loss and really get into the grips with being very critical about yourself and myself as a chess player what i'm actually trying to strive for and seeing how i can improve more because it's so it's so easy to just focus on the technical aspect of you know learning all these openings and learning all, but if you've reached a state where you can get advantages against higher rated players you're doing something right but then if you're losing against lower rated players and you need to look at well what is it that's going on something's missing there's a link somewhere that needs to be brought together and this is the way that i'm attempting to do that i'm expecting to keep on losing for a period of time um you know not everybody wins all the time but it's the quality of the play and these three games that we've shown in this series um shows that the quality of play really does dip when the creative mind is at 45 percent 35 percent need to keep the logical creative mind getting it upwards would be ideally 95 percent 96 you know really getting high up there so that it just constantly helps build 
a better unnatural naturalness game that I can flow freely with. <laughs>